Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And welcome to 13 Nights of Fry. So today we're gonna have a very fun video. This is the first time that I'm incorporating board games within our 13 Nights of Fright. So if you guys are new, usually for the 13 Nights of Fright, I do like 13 consecutive movie reviews of first time watches, horror movies that is. But this year I want to do something different. Also, it's pretty hot. So do not be shocked if this wig gets snatched midway through the lighting isn't the best i was trying to go for like that spooky look and i'm definitely re uh, filming at night let me try to move it a little bit more oh now there's a shadow damn it that might be better with the glare right i feel like it's not as bad okay that's where it's gonna be we're gonna deal with the shadows Ooh, because that makes it more spooky hey guys editing me here jumping on real quick before the video officially starts just know that i know that i talk a lot and when i tell you i didn't realize that i had talked this much when i was um recording <laughs> we'll tell you how much i talk anywho because this video was gonna be like way too long i'm gonna be doing uh two parts for this so first part will be like the family friendly games and then part two will be like the spooky spookier games that we will be talking about i think i i was able to put all the games all the family friendly games into this one but don't be shocked if you end up seeing one or two kind of like make its way into the second spookier uh deal so let's go ahead and get you back to back to the video so we're gonna go through just my spooky collection of games and i'm going to be associating them with the movie as best as possible now i feel like the ones that come with the ip like obvious that's the ip that it's gonna like some way we're gonna see we're, we're gonna recommend because i'm not gonna recommend something else when it's this movie okay some of them i'm like stretching for it i'm, I'm channeling my inner like jamie from frosty the meeple and just kind of like like you know what the game has an orange box and they eat an orange in the movie maybe that's what's gonna be okay we're just gonna stretch for it very very wildly okay um i will let you guys know which ones are like pretty beginner friendly which ones are family friendly which ones are more like for the advanced type we're gonna go ahead and start off with the two games that i actually don't have movies for they're pretty quick pretty easy very beginner friendly i just couldn't associate a movie with it you guys can let me know down below what movie i want to associate with it uh because i really couldn't think of any okay so first up it's gonna be an oldie but a goodie and that is patchwork the halloween edition now this is a i believe it's just a two-player game yes for two goals um i honestly the original patchwork never called my attention i was just like oh no i don't want that but then i saw this one i said yes uh, halloween spooky there's like eyeballs and stuff the original one just looks boring um there are so so many different patchworks like editions there's like christmas valentine's fourth of july like american dutch i think i would recommend any of them except like the og like that one's just honestly the most boring but it is a puzzling game it's just you against somebody else you're trying to build your quilt um and if you like a good puzzle kind of like tetris type deal and then up next we have taco cat go chase pizza the halloween edition yeah if you can see it's still in the shrink i literally just got this in the mail like a day or two ago um i love this game so much it is a party game y'all when i tell y'all like just be careful because it's very very like dangerous because you're gonna be smacking everybody's hands super easy to learn think about it like slapjack you're gonna deal out the whole deck of cards to your group and as you're putting the cards down um you're gonna have your deck and you're gonna go taco cat go cheese pizza you're gonna go in a nice little rhythm now if you happen to put say cat and there's actually a cat on the there you go and you smack every well you don't have to smack but let's face it you're going to smack and whoever had is on the very very top you're gonna have to take the whole deck of cards there are some other like really fun ones like gorilla and you have to go gorilla and then smack narwhal is the favorite one smack Ho uh, hedgehog smack now if you smack the wrong thing then you still have to take the deck of cards it's a lot of fun you can make it into a drinking game hey, you can make everything into a drinking game but so if you can get this like at walmart uh super cheap uh highly 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 recommend this great for like the whole family beginner uh advanced intermediate like all everything you guys if you're having a halloween party this is a great one very much halloweeny okay very much this is gonna go with the movie with the ip that's hocus pocus y'all the packaging is pretty neat it's it's book but at the same time i hate the packaging i wish it had like some sort of like magnetic deal because y'all see that and like the shape of it, it's weird, never fits perfectly anywhere, to be honest with you. But 
if you are new to the hobby, new enthusiast gamer, I was actually surprised how uh, good this game was, to be honest with you. It's just very quick. You have to hit the Saunderson sisters three times. You don't have to hit each one, so you can hit the same one different times. Another one, you can get a Walmart, you can get a Target. The next two are going to go with the IP. So we have Merry Madness, The Nightmare Before Christmas already. Okay, so this is like my all-time favorite movie, y'all. So, of course, we have to complete it. And let me just say this right here, okay? First of all, this is a two-for-one because not only is this a Halloween game, but it's also a Christmas because you see here, Merry Christmas, okay? And then Christmas. Okay, this is a real-time game. Um, you, It's kind of like that um, LRC or whatever deal. Um, you have your little table deal. You have a couple gifts. You're rolling your dice. It's going to tell you to pass a certain gift right or left or to the center. And you're basically trying to get rid of all the games in, in your board. You have to do that three times. Um, it's super fun, super like chaotic. Um, this is a great one if you're going to have like a Halloween party uh, to have. But maybe... Have it like in a secure, like, like observe it location because it could get pretty wild with the gifts that you start chunking it. So you don't want to, you want to make sure that if something gets chunked off the table, you catch it and you don't end up like losing pieces because it could get pretty wild like that. And you're going to be like down pieces because then it'll be kicked somewhere else. If I have lipstick in my teeth, y'all just ignore it. Okay, that is the terror of wearing black lipstick and red lipstick, to be honest with you. Okay, up next, Disney's Haunted mansion this one i will say it is definitely more just for beginners more for families i wouldn't really fully recommend this if you are like in the hobby unless you have like small kids that would like like this so because that's go so it's like that really like nice spooky deal but i definitely feel like this is more beginner friendly you're going against the um endless um hallway and it's honestly just a set collecting uh game um the artwork is beautiful but it is a very very simple game we still had a lot of fun playing it but of course we're gonna be going with disney's a haunted match the new one that just came out this year and if that one is a little bit too much then i also recommend haunted mansion the muppets haunted mansion i don't really like the eddie murphy one so i won't be recommending that one but those other two are really great all these movies of course are like great to have like in the background while you're playing these games uh, just to kind of get like that cozy feeling um, all of these games honestly you don't need like too much attention so you can still be like take your turn watch the movie take your turn you know it's not like one that's too serious ghost love candy 2 I have to make sure I get it right because again the lighting situation isn't the best I kind of moved it a little bit is that better is that worse I don't know y'all okay hold on <laughs> okay I just turned on the other light I think that help we're gonna have the eyeglass glare again it is what it is y'all ghost love candy too super cute uh very family friendly here this one i think is good for like everybody to be honest with you you're playing ghosts um ghosts that want candy and you're trying to get these candies from the kids on the block uh the kids on the block each have like a scare factor so you're playing your ghost cards numbers on the ghost cards that are played underneath each, each kid cannot bypass whatever their scare value is if they do they get scared and then they end up going on to like your space normally the kids have negative points because you scared them and now they're like huh? and you got to figure out how to get rid of them so i did have um, a pretty hard time picking a movie for this. I kind of just, because uh, there was ghosts. And that is the Scream Team. I've only ever seen it once. But the fact that that movie kind of came into mind with this one. And it's like a very like early 2000s movie. I did do a collab video with Anthony Perez. I'm going to try to remember to link that down below. There's ghosts. And there's ghosts in that movie. Again, we're stretching for it. So up next is going to be horrified i ended up going for the horrified american monsters there is the original horrified which has the universal monsters and there is a new horrified that actually just came out um a couple months ago or earlier this month i remember it's called greek mythology now that one just kind of gives me the sense that it's not really like part of the spooky because if you think greek mythology it's like what's scary about that i mean i guess there is that one god that like killed and ate his kids right so that's pretty gruesome and scary that can be like that but generally speaking doesn't give me the spooky vibes like these other ones and then i did see um image from meeple's video uh where they were talking about all three comparing them to see which one's best for you but i ended up just picking this one just because of the movie that i ended up picking especially since the next game that i'm gonna recommend basically it's gonna be like uh og universal monster that i'm gonna be recommending so i was like let's not do two but then it's gonna be like 
which monsters you want to play with the american monsters or universal monsters i love this game it's so simple very uh, beginner friendly so if you are new to the hobby this is a really good one to get into this is one that you could also uh pick up like at walmart or target i think i like the only universal monsters better versus this one but there's stuff about this game that i like better from than from like more like the board or like components that i like from this one so again it just depends on like what you like what monsters you prefer to play with the movie that i will be recommending for this one is going to be an animated movie i think it's in spanish though <laughs> i don't even know did i watch it in spanish it's called the Chupacabra. It's an animated movie. But you know, like, it's one of those things, like, I don't remember, like, what language I... <laughs> but that's actually a really good one because there is a Chupacabra right here. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I had a hard time debating on what uh, movie because I was like, what movies are there with these creatures here? The Universal Monster, obviously, is easier because you could just go with any of the Universal Monster movies. But I wanted to do something different because I think I... Whenever I talk about this game, which I do talk about this game a lot, I always get the OG one. So we gotta... We gotta try something new here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know down below which one of these games kind of interests you the most. Which one maybe would you like to go and uh, check out? Which one is your favorite like spooky season uh, game? There are so many that I still would love to try. That's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.